On this channel, I talk a lot about complex diseases, but today I'm going to be discussing one of the most fundamental parts of our brain, which is the neuron. A neuron is composed of three main parts, the cell body, the dendrites, and the axon. The cell body contains the nucleus, which contains the genetic material that controls the cell's activities. Dendrites are small branches that extend from the cell body and receive information from other neurons. The axon is this long portion that carries signals and information to the rest of the body. When a neuron receives a signal from another neuron, either through chemical or electrical signals, it undergoes a process called depolarization. This means that the electrical charge across the cell membrane becomes less negative, moving towards a more positive state. If depolarization reaches a certain threshold, an action potential is generated. An action potential is a rapid change in the cell membrane potential. This is achieved by the opening of voltage-gated ion channels, which allows for the flow of ions across the cell membrane. The action potential then travels along the axon towards the terminal branches, where it triggers the release of neurotransmitters into the synapse which is the tiny gap between the sending neuron's axon terminal and the receiving neuron's dendrites. The neurotransmitters bind to the receptors on the dendrites of the receiving neuron, which is how a signal is transmitted from one neuron to another. After the neurotransmitters have been released, they are either taken back up by the sending neuron through a process called reuptake or broken down by enzymes. This allows the synapse to reset and be ready for future signaling. It is this complex and coordinated network of neurons that forms the basis of communication and information processing in the nervous system.